So it's an early start to the fire season for sure, and there's uncontrolled fires in almost every province across the country. This time of year, that's really unusual. Uh, it's going to be hard for some areas to get rain, and that, that of course feeds the cycle of fires. With the wildfires erupting early across Canada this summer, figuring out how fires affect thunderstorm development is a critical question, because thunderstorms provide much of the precipitation critical to farmers. To answer that question, I looked back at the Western fires in 2021 and brought in an expert, Dr. David Sills of the Northern Tornadoes Project. Yeah, back in 2021, uh, the 60-day period that should have the highest tornado frequency in the prairies, we recorded zero tornadoes. There might be several factors that work. The fires that were uh, occurring in uh, British Columbia and all the smoke blowing to the east. There was also some drought going on in the southwest prairies. Uh, and then, you know, the heat dome as well that's set up. Thus, there are two main aspects that are affecting thunderstorms across Canada this year, drought and smoke. Drought begets drought because once the, the ground gets dry, the vegetation starts to dry out. So all of that moisture that could be feeding thunderstorms starts to disappear. And it gets harder and harder to get convection to develop unless it's really forced hard. Next, smoke. We can break this down into two factors, cutting off sunlight and particulates for raindrop development. Yeah, a lot of that solar energy isn't getting through to the ground, and that means there's less energy for thunderstorms to develop. Other studies have shown that particulate in the air actually helps thunderstorms become more intense. So, you know, there's a couple different effects going on here, but I, I think from what we've seen in the past, yeah, it, if there's a lot of forest fire smoke, it's gonna cut down the amount of thunderstorms that are developing.